Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm today in the southern part of Munich, in the borough of Sendling. You might hear in the background the noise of the first Straße, but I'm not here for traffic noise today, I'm here for another U-Bahn station. Hörrigelskreut, the entrance is just to my right, is a station I haven't visited, so let's get it on. As mentioned here, Fürstenrieder Straße, one of the traffic lifelines in the western part of Munich. The most important north-south connection here in the west. It's always pretty busy. Right now it's not that bad actually, but there are a lot of cars. But what the modern man does, he's not going by car, he's going by train. And here is Holzapfelkreut. This is not the name of the street, it's the name of the quarter around here. Don't know where that name comes from. Absolutely no idea. It sounds pretty ridiculous, but let's see. Yeah, here is already the elevator that goes from street level here to the mezzanine level. The walls, yeah, that looks okay. Ceiling is in place, just surprising again. But the floor, yeah, station from the 80s, these ugly stones that are in here this really is not beautiful. But now, ready for the color flash? Okay, let's go. Here we are in the yellow and orange. Here's the elevator that goes down to the platform level. There's a toilet, uh, even a disabled toilet. I'm sure you have to pay for that. There's the normal toilet, let's have a look. Oh yeah, there's this pay gate, but it's open, so today no pay to use the toilet here in Holzapfelkreut. Of course some ads and this is uh, one of the venues Mrs. Psychopunk will go to in a few weeks. She's a huge fan of these guys. I saw them once together with her. It was quite interesting but I'm not always in the mood to listen to music like this. Okay back to the station. The entrance area is here, where there is escalators on the one side, stairs on the other side. It's yellow, it's orange, the blue gates, the color of the U6, the blue stripe here in the middle. Looks pretty cool. Ticket machines, yeah, always you need that. And these validation stampers. These are needed for uh, these uh, individual cards, individual tickets. If a ticket here in Munich doesn't have a date on it or time, you have, it has to be validated or it's not valid. Okay, let's go to the platform. And as the neighboring stations of West Sendling West Park and also the Partnerplatz. This is quite an interesting color scheme here. Of course, there's the orange on the poles, but on the walls, orange into bright yellow, back into bright orange, back into yellow, and so on. This is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, that's 80s at its best. Here do we have essential information, schedules, map, and a more detailed map of the area is on the other side. And here is a pretty good view into the tunnel. I hope the camera can pick it up. Let's see, Whoop. yes. That's a typical U-Bahn tunnel here in Munich. And there are just a few places with a view into the tunnel is as good as here. Let's go to the other side. Yeah, and both sides look the same. Okay, there's a train coming. Let's pass. Let's wait for the train. And here it goes again which should give me an empty platform. 
that is always appreciated when filming these U-Bahn stations. Yeah, here entry exit, here uh, the escalators coming down the stairs from the other side. And yeah, the station does have another exit at the very back. We will come to that in a second. Yeah, these orange poles, <laughs> it's fascinating. The ceiling mostly is in place, which is not bad. But yeah, there are holes, of course. And the floor, I've mentioned it, yeah, here next to these poles, it looks quite okay. Why can't the whole floor look like that? Why do they have to be these ugly? Why there does there has to be this ugly floor from the 80s? Please remove it, bring in something new. And yeah, Uban stations are not the biggest. Length is about 120 meters, so below 400 feet. Yeah, the trains aren't longer. But here, another view into the tunnel. And the overview over Holzapfelkreut U-Bahn station. So, let's get out of here. Once again, energy saving escalator. It uh, only activates when you step on the aluminum panel at the lower end. And this is also a dual direction escalator, as most escalators in new one stations are. So if it's standing still and you step onto this aluminum panel on the floor, the escalator will activate downwards. If you do that on the lower end, as I did, it will activate upwards. And this is the symbol. These arrows in both directions means this is a dual direction escalator. Okay, we have more yellow here. At the exit, I don't know where I will go from here, so just let me take this exit to get back to the surface, to the Waldfriedhofstraße. And then let's see what happens. I'm not on a specific uh, destined walk today. Yeah, that was one destination. I did it already. And now let's see what else happens. This is the westernmost exit, Hölregelskreut U-Bahn station. Here, uh, is this already Hardern or is it still Sendling? I'm, I think it's Hardern, yeah. The houses get a little smaller, more one, two, three unit houses, not the big blocks to live in. And I will now see where the next connection will take me. I hope you liked Höllriegelskreut U-Bahn station. It's from the 80s, but for a station from the 80s it looks quite okay. And that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon back in Munich underground. Have a good time. Goodbye.